guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a video. What's it been, a month? It's been like a month. Um, why I've been so absent is because this month of June has been crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We're moving back home. So we're in the process of moving out of our apartment. Um, finished school. Um, trying to work. And, um, I feel like there's other stuff, and I just can't think of it right now, because my mind is so boggled. There's been a lot of stuff going on, um, I've been trying to get into school, and just different things going on. And we're still haven't, we have to look first to move out, and we still haven't gotten all of our stuff out of our apartment. So, I was like, you know what, I can make time to film a video, sit down, because I miss you guys, I miss talking to you guys, I miss making videos for you guys. So yeah, just talking to you guys, and I missed seeing your comments, and I missed gaining new friends and subscribers, so yeah, that is why I'm back. I'm going to stop rambling, because I just want you to know how much I miss you guys, and yeah, today's video is all about hot new products that have been recently coming out. There's been a lot, a lot of new makeup recently, and Mama's broke, and yeah. So I haven't picked up every single new thing that's come out, like Anastasia has been killing it and I really want her new eyeshadow palette, um, her glow kits that I have none of them. What? I did pick up a lot of new things that have come out recently so I wanted to share them with you, my thoughts, chit chat, and yeah, if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you picked up some of the same things I did, how you felt about them. Let's talk. And I will see you in my next video. You guys have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will see you later. Bye. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is what's on my lips right now. And that is the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Dead of Night, which it just released last week. No, it had to be longer than that. Maybe two weeks ago. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. But yeah, she released this lip kit and I have no black lipsticks except for this one now and I didn't have any of the Kylie lip kits but I really wanted a black lipstick and she was coming out with one and I really wanted to try her lipstick so I was like hey let's do this so um yeah it's just basically a black matte lipstick and my thoughts so far is that I actually really I've heard a lot of bad reviews about her lip kits so, and I've also heard, not necessarily bad, it's just inconsistent. One's really good and then one's really shitty. So, I'm sure you've heard all that too. But yeah, so I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this color and by this formula. Now, eventually it will rub off in the middle. But as far as like where, it's comfortable. It's not overly drying. And yeah. In my opinion, most liquid lipsticks are going to crumble, except for the one that I'm fixing to talk to you about, because I have another one that's pretty exciting. That's probably my favorite lipstick ever. I'm really excited about this lip kit. I know she's releasing two new shades for the holidays for 4th of July, so I don't know if I'm going to get them or not, but we'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Dead of Night Kylie Lip Kit. Next exciting lipstick that I was just talking about is this one from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and if you know me, I love Jeffree Star. He is my mother. If guys could be a mother, he is my mother. My makeup mom. That's what I'm gonna call him. He's my makeup. He recently launched three liquid lipsticks. Um, there was Gemini, Rose Matters, and then Mannequin which is the one I have right here and let me just tell you, I have gone far and wide to find a nude that actually looks like a nude on my lips. It's either, they're mostly all too dark. That's basically what it comes down to. Even like, uh, Celebrity Skin was almost, almost too dark. It wasn't, it was, it's between, let's see. Like, he has the shade I'm Nude, and then he has Celebrity Skin. This is like them having a baby. This is like the perfect middle shade. Celebrity Skin is a little more dark, and I'm Nude is like a pale nude, and I was really scared to try I'm Nude because, you know, I don't know if it would wash me out, how it would be, so I needed like the perfect balance of not too much brown, not too much pink, not too much pale, not too much dark. It's really a struggle for me. <laughs> like, I don't like a lot of lipsticks to stand out on me unless I'm wearing like obvious, a standout color, but so... 
Um, I picked this bad boy up and I have been in love. In love with this color. I'm not even being dramatic. Like, I'm obsessed. Obsessed with this color. I'll just do a swatch for you. You see how dirty my hands are? That's what happens when you do your makeup. I have these. But I'm just going, oh my god, this is so pretty. And even, like, swatching on my hand, it kind of looks dark. But it's really pretty. Just ignore my hand. So this is the color right here. And do you see, see how pale I am? But yeah, it's just a perfect everyday your lip color, but better. I'm sure you probably is mannequin. And yeah, it and let me talk to you about the formula. The formula is my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. Now I haven't tried, there's other liquid lipsticks out there that I haven't tried yet, but from the ones that I've tried, this is my favorite. Tops it, tops Kylie, tops all of them. The reason why is because when I wear these, they don't crumble, they don't fade, and when they do start to fade, you six hours, you can reapply them, and they won't get crumbly. Like, as much as I love ColourPop, that's the only downfall, is that when you reapply them, they just get real crumbly, and they just fall apart, and they're just... So this doesn't do that. Now, ColourPop, it's only $6. I guess, you you know, you got to... Way out the pros and cons, but yeah. So it doesn't crumble, it doesn't fade, and when it, like I said, when it does fade, about after six hours of wearing it, you can reapply it. And even when it does fade, especially since it being a nude, it fades in the best way possible to where it just kind of starts looking like my lip color. It doesn't like, you know, it is a nude, like I said, but it doesn't just, you know, fall apart if you understand what I'm saying. But yeah. I'm trying to let it dry so you guys can see it dry. This is it mostly dry. It's not quite dry yet. But yeah. This is it. And it is my favorite nude out of all the ones I have. So yeah, that is Jeffree Star and me. Keeping on the topic of Jeffree Star because... <laughs> but this is his Beauty Killer eyeshadow palette. This is his first eyeshadow palette that he's ever released. And oh my god. They are amazing. And they're big. What more could you want? Rowdy. Mama's filming. Go. Let me tell you a story on this palette real quick. A little backstory. Um, I wasn't able to get it at the time that it released because for whatever reason it always works out that Jeffrey releases the day before payday and it's always sold out by the time I get uh, my direct deposit going. So I was really upset and my girl Hannah, shout out if you're watching this, um, she decided to get this for me, and I was like, what? Like, what? I don't have friends that do that for me. Now, I'm not down on any of my friends, because I, you know who you are. I love you guys. But, I've never had somebody buy something like this for me, and I know it's just makeup, but when you're a true makeup lover, like me and her, you just get it. You just get each other, and you just understand it, and when you can help one another, you do it. And, yeah, I was so thankful. I mean, I didn't want to take it because <laughs> I'm the kind of person that like I feel bad. I genuinely feel bad if I accept something without paying for it or whatever. So anyways, little backstory. Thank you, Hannah. Appreciate it. Shout out. You know who you are. Emotional part and show you. I'm sure you've all seen it. <laughs> I'm looking at myself because the mirror's back here. But yes, can you see how big these pan sizes are? I'm just, oh. okay, prettiest, like, green gold I've ever seen. And so, yeah, I've been trying to play around with it because this palette's one of those palettes that it's not just, like, every day let me just go in and blend these colors out. No, this is one of those things that you get creative with. This is one of those palettes that you get out of your comfort zone with. And that's my favorite thing about this palette is it's not just your everyday basic palette. It's It challenges your makeup skills. It challenges everything. I love this palette. It has transition colors. It has your bold colors, obviously. It has your it has your blacks. It has your dark gray. It's just, it has your burgundy. What more could you want as a makeup lover? So I seriously, chance to get your hands on it? Do it. Just do it. Like Maggie said. 
is brows because I don't know if you can even tell the difference between my brows from now and from my last video. But I recently picked up the pop pencils, the brow pencils, and I picked up mine in Bangin' Brunette because I am brunette. And you guys, this shit is serious. Like, I never thought I would find something to compare to Anastasia, the brow queen. But this is amazing. Like, amazing. Let me show you. Like, when I had the brow, this is what I wanted the brow wiz to be, is this. And this guy's only $5. So, the brow wiz, when I had gotten it, it just, it was real hard to, like, get a whole lot of color payoff. It's more, I don't know if it's more for natural brows, but it's just, it was a lot harder. This, I barely have to swipe it. And I get color. Like, it's not something that I have to drag across my brows to get, you know, um, pigmentation or whatever. So, I really like this because I can do these a lot quicker than pulling out my dip brow. Now, I still am a diehard for my dip brow. I will always be that. But this is so much easier and so much more inexpensive that, I don't know, I just can't imagine wanting to go spend $20 for my brows again because I can do the same thing. For five dollars, I'm turning into like a like a favorites video because all this shit is my favorite right now. Only not least, this is my favorite item out of all these. Top down, top. This is like my top five favorite product of life. So you all know Jaclyn Hill, right? You all do. I know you do. If you're watching my video, you know who she is. So, I don't know if this is going to show it, but this is her palette that she collaborated with Becca Cosmetics. And can we just talk about the packaging for a minute? Like, are you kidding? That is so pretty. It's just straight up, like, gold and white and everything. I'm going to decorate my room inspired by this palette because it is that pretty. And when you open it up, you have this big old mirror, if I can get it open without breaking it. Okay, so... You have this big mirror. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blind you. And then you have the best thing that's ever happened to you. And it is these two highlighters right here. You all know Champagne Pop, which is the original color she created. And then she created Prosecco Pop, which is a new addition to the family. And I mean, let me just, can we have a moment? Can we, I mean, can we please? Have a moment for these highlighters you can't see it but I have it all over my face I have champagne pop on the cheekbones and Prosecco pop everywhere else so if you want champagne and you want gold all in the same thing this is your go-to and then they have these beautiful blushes um this is my favorite the rose spritz that's the one I wear like every day I have it on now um it's just like a luminous rosy blush basically it's a shimmer and then you have this one, which is more of a warmer, it almost reminds me of a bronzer, but not a bronzer. And then um, you had like this bright pink, which is a pretty pop of color if you just want to like liven your makeup up a little bit. So yeah, this has been my favorite thing ever. Um, I love Jaclyn. I love these highlighters. And I love this palette. And that's all I'm going to say because I need to wrap this up because I'm sure this video is going to be long if I get to talking about Jaclyn because... Everyone, she. When I think of Jaclyn, I don't just see her as like a makeup YouTuber. I think of her as like goals. Like, here's Jaclyn. Here's where I want to be up here with Jaclyn, drinking Starbucks. That's where I want to be in life. So yeah. Um. Congrats, Jaclyn. You did amazing on this palette, and I will forever wear it on my cheeks, and I will forever glow in the glory of you. Almost forgot something. I forgot these sunglasses. Now these aren't old. They're kind of new. They're kind of new. The style has been around, but they have a new lens for it. And I'm talking about these beautiful babies. Do you not feel like a goddess when you wear these? Okay, so these are um, key sunglasses in the style on the prow. And I mean, I'm just like, forget the foundation of my hair. But I mean, Hello. Okay, so why I say these are 
kind of new is because they came out with a pink lens for these instead of just their standard lens they had. And I had been wanting these for a while, not necessarily the pink lens because I didn't know about pink lens. And um, I had been wanting this style and then I was like, wait, I want pink lenses, but I want this style. And they're coming out with both of them. So I was like, why not? So yeah, these are... Ugh, like I just gag. Yeah, like these are my favorite sunglasses I've ever owned, and that's saying a lot because I've owned some sunglasses that I loved. But yeah, so these retail for oh, I think these are. I want to say these were fifty dollars, so which isn't bad, for considering like how much Ray Bans are and like designer glasses. This is really inexpensive. So I mean it's expensive for my budget, but in general they're not expensive for a really good pair of sunglasses so yeah um i just wanted to mention these in here as well i know they're not exactly new but they're new to me and i had to mention them so all right guys that wraps up the video i will see you guys later let me know down below if you have any of the same items that you're loving and or any items at all that you're loving because you know i want to hear it i miss you guys and I've been gone. So my next video I'm hoping for it to be a makeup tutorial because I have some new ideas that I want to get crack a on my channel. Did I say crack a That is not okay.